Good afternoon, I'm Patrick Avon, and welcome to Patrick Avon News Update. Today is Saturday, July 27th, 2024, and here's an update for the news. A 36-year-old man was shot and killed overnight Friday near to the Metro K Line station in Le Lemurk Park, and the suspect remained at large, authorities said. Firefighters spent Friday battle hotspots after a massive fire at the, cat, at the car recycling yard in Lancaster scorched the instrument fit 1,500 vehicles. A, the northbound 15th field remained closed Saturday morning after a crash involving an overturned semi-truck that results in the miles long traffic backed up and straighted Las Vegas bound drivers. The father of 15 year old girl who went missing from about a week in Monterey Park before she was found safe outside ABC 7's office in Glendale was arrested Friday on suspicion of child ab ab abduction and other offenses. Tucked away along the Los Angeles rivers in handed gym for Long Beach residents. A heated confront confrontation was caught a, on video between the homeowners in Laguna Beach and a family that was sitting on the sand in front of, in, of her home. Now let's check in the sports update. A he first base first baseman Freddie Freeman was granted leave by the Los Angeles Dodgers, Dodgers on Friday to be with Ellie's three-year-old son. The NBA draft is done. A free agent, agency, HSC is a high geared, but there would be key traits master masterializing throughout the off 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 seasons. Now let's check in the entertainment. Front from backyard parties in the Atlanta Empire to pack arenas in the U.S. and Mexico, Fiereza. Richardia is part of a moment properly regional Mexican music to global levels. Sealine Dion, Dion made a trumpet, trumpet returns Friday with a very public performance closing out the Paris Olympics opening ceremonies from the Eiffel Tower. We'll check the traffic, the weather, and star market in five minutes. So don't go away, we'll be right back.
welcome back. Time now to check this Saturday traffic. Fifty seven southbound at at seventy one freeway work zone left lane traditional to the seventy one south from the t t the ten to halt of the country work. Caltrans works. Ten, 10 west on the 10 freeway westbound at 605 back up to the Pewitt Avenue singular a crash blocking the three left three right lanes. 134 freeway eastbound between the two freeway Har Harvey Drive and Colorado Boulevard Figueroa Street back up to the Glendale Avenue work zone the right lane closed for work for road work until 1 p.m. And on the 4 or 5 south on the accident right shoulder of Vermont Avenue back up to the Normandy Avenue. New. 4 or 5 south on the Temple Avenue back up to the Avalon Boulevard accident right shoulder. And on the 5 south on the also Parkway starts second lane from the left lane block. So put down the cell phone, buck up the seatbelt, and join the rest of your drive. And that includes for the traffic. Now let's check the weather. Check the weather. Now let's check the weather. Let's watch some commercial. Yesterday. We'll make a return as we head into your Saturday and Sunday. And then look at this clearing out to some nice blue skies out there this afternoon. And still seeing clear skies. Our LAX camera right now, mostly sunny conditions, upper 60s for you. So we are starting to cool out there. But the deserts and inland areas still on the warm side. This is a live look from our Blue Ridge Sky Cam. It is beautiful. But Palmdale coming in mid 90s. So still feeling a bit of that heat in our deserts. Taking a look at temperatures outside. Not too bad out there, though, as you head toward the coast. 91 in Van Nuys, Oxnard. Look at you, mid-60s this afternoon. 71 in Santa Monica, upper 60s in Redondo Beach. Long Beach, though, coming in much warmer at 80 degrees. So we still have a little bit of that onshore flow in the mix. That's going to keep the beaches nice and cool as we head into the weekend. What's also going to cool us down is this trough of low pressure. It is going to move in as we head into your Saturday, Sunday, and continue to dip our temperatures. So daytime in the corner here. You can see Saturday for us, Los Angeles making it to low 80s, 82 degrees. That trough settles in by Sunday, looking to be the coolest day of the week. Southern California only making it to those high 70s. More of that onshore flow and marine layer in the mix as well. So the mornings will be cool and cloudy. Afternoon is nice and sunny, though. And then by about next week, Monday, we start to see that trough move out and some high pressure, a ridge moving in, which will bump up our temperatures just a bit, but uh, not too much. The good news is no heat waves in sight just yet. All right, lowest tonight. It will be nice and cool out there with more of that cloud cover rolling in. 50s and 60s out there for most of you. Pasadena coming in 65 degrees. Covina, 66. Along the coast, nice and cool for you in Mission Viejo, coming in at 63 degrees. Then tomorrow, this cooling trend continues. So you'll notice the, uh, desert areas, Palm Springs, still feeling that heat at 110. But as you head even towards inland areas, Pasadena, Covina, a little bit cooler than 
what you've been seeing. 88, 91 degrees for you tomorrow. Long Beach coming in 76, Inglewood 71, and then Thousand Oaks hanging out in the mid 80s tomorrow at 85 degrees. LA, Orange County starting off in the low 80s tomorrow, so you will see that morning cloud cover replaced by afternoon sunshine. Then Sunday, the coolest day of the week coming in upper 70s. After that, we start to warm up once again, but you'll notice not a big warm up. This one is gradual. 80, 82, finally warming up to the mid 80s by about end of week there. And again, no heat waves in sight right now. So even as we warm, it's not going to be anything too drastic. Valleys, Inland Empire, 90s tomorrow, coming in at 93 degrees, cooling to the high 80s by Sunday. Along the coast, nice and cool. You're only making it to those low 70s tomorrow, dipping into the 60s for both Sunday and Monday. Even a chance to see a little bit of drizzle tomorrow morning as that marine layer rolls through. Up in the mountains, cooler conditions this weekend. Only seeing temperatures make it to the 70s. Wind speeds, a bit breezy though, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Then by end of week, look at this. We do have a chance to see some monsoonal moisture in the mix, some afternoon thunderstorms as we head into the end of the week, and then similar setup in the deserts. Cooler conditions to start with a chance to see some thunderstorm activity once we get to the end of the week and some warmer temperatures. But for now, we get to enjoy these cooler conditions while they last. We'll certainly do that, Shayla. Thank you. And that includes for the weather now. Now then finally, the stock market. That includes for the stock market. And that's it for the news. I'm Patrick Gavant. Thank you for watching the Patrick Gavant News Update. Happy Saturday, everybody. Be blessed, be happy, and go to the right thing.